Yo, 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 what up, two-way family? It's your favorite gun collector, Mr. 945, coming back at you with another one. All right, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to say when you're doing YouTube. But anyway, um, today I really just wanted to see how you guys and gals feel about selling your guns. All right, all right, all right. I know this is going to be a touchy subject <laughs> uh, because if you are like me, you get separation anxiety with your guns. I've heard people say how much they regret selling a gun um, and end up buying it again later on down the line, um, or at least they want to buy it again later on down the line. I've uh, heard people saying that they would never, ever, 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 ever sell their guns. Um, I'm kind of on that camp, but I have sold a few for my collection in the past, and I actually don't regret the ones that I've sold. Um, if I had the choice, would I have kept them? Sure. You know, you can never have too many. You know, what is it? What is the saying? Uh, one is none and two is one. Yeah. So sure, I would love to have kept them, but I just sold them because I wasn't really shooting them. And I wanted to get some better, so. Um, but I haven't sold a lot, so. And and I'm real. I'm real picky and, and hesitant in that sense. But I've been thinking about scaling down my collection. Yeah, I don't know if it's just going into the new year and all of that or whatever. But I've been thinking about getting more consistency in the platform that I the platform that I run like mainly. Um, from like an EDC home defense perspective and getting more consistency in, in, in calibers. When I started off my gun journey, I was like, look, I only want nines and then that's it. And then I was like, okay, well, my wife, she likes to shoot 380. I'm like, all right, so we only going to do nine and 380. Then it was like, okay, well, we need a training caliber to not, you know, waste a lot of money shooting. So, all right, nine, 380 and 22, that's it. And then it was like, well, you need a wheel gun, you know, then I got 38 and then it was, it, it, it was a slippery slope. So, um, I still try not to get into a lot of calibers, like various, like exotic calibers, or I don't know what you would call it, but, and, and I, I've done it already. So it, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to, that, that's kind of what I was thinking of. Again, like maybe, you know, trying to, you know, simplify things in my collection to help with, you know, ease of training, you know, transitioning from one firearm to the next because, you know, and, and I'm thinking in the terms of like maybe M&P, right? If I stick with the M&P line, you know, just the familiarity and navigating the firearm and the gun itself actually, you know, just kind of transitions real easy from, from one to another. Um, I don't know. You know, so it, just some things that I was thinking about, um, maybe again, getting rid of some stuff that I haven't shot in a while, but when I pick them up and, and I, you know, dry fire and stuff like that, it's like, oh, I love these guns. Like these two that I have right here, I haven't shot these in a while and hell, they look damn near brand new. Um, but the Beretta, what is it? The Beretta 92 FS and the Smith and the old school Smith and Wesson. Yes. 5904. Yeah. Yeah. So still all metal guns yeah I, I love all metal guns um so i don't i don't know I, I, now i'm not putting these up for sale at least not right now but you know just you know things that i've been thinking about um and again maybe you know possibility of making some more room in my safe for some more goodies <laughs> i know i'm bad i'm bad I'm, I'm an addict and i admit it um, but yeah, so what do you guys think? What do you all think? Um, what, what are some, some reasons you would sell your guns? Like I mentioned before, I think, you know, some people say that they do it, you know, just to get the cash, um, you know, for whatever reason, maybe some financial reasons or something like that. You need, you, you ran into a pinch and you need to, you know, knock off a bill or something. I could respect that. Um, the only downside to that, that I see is that you don't get what you paid for, like in the guns, right? Like, like, for example, like this Beretta 92 FS, these right now new are roughly somewhere around like the six, 600 mark or something like that. If you were to sell it, you know, the dealer got to make their money, whoever you selling it to, 
Um, like if you're going through like a FFL or something like that, a, a gun store, or whatever, a pawn shop, whatever, they gonna knock off maybe about thirty to sixty percent of that, right? Um, maybe I may have that even wrong. I mean, it may be even more, right? Because they gotta make their money back for what they're you know go they're gonna sell it for because they're gonna sell it as a used gun anyway. So it's just a slippery slope in that in that respect as well so that's a big turn off me like you don't necessarily get 100 percent of what you pay for it so if you pay 800 dollars for a gun um you're not gonna get that 800 dollars back plain blank period right unless it's a collectible or something like that you know or something you know real um you know I don't know if it's in good good condition, great condition, excellent condition. Like you'll never really shoot it. Uh, it hasn't really even been shot. It's still kind of considered new in box, um, and it's like a high value dollar firearm already, right? So maybe you can get you know a good dollar back from what you're paying for, it, but or maybe if it's been discontinued. Right. Like, so, for example, like this, this Smith and Wesson, these are discontinued. They're not making these anymore, but they're still in circulation. You know, so this is a used firearm. Um, and, you know, you can find them anywhere from three to five hundred dollars or whatnot. Um, I don't know how much they cost it, you know, new or whatever, but because they were originally like manufactured back in like the 80s or something like that. So. So, yeah, 80s and 90s, I think it was um, the 59 series smith and wesson did but in any event i mean like and then the other part too with getting your money back hell if it's a value gun like a budget gun like you not gonna get a hundred percent of that value from like a taurus g3c or a psa dagger those are like 300 dollars guns right so you don't expect to get 300 dollars off of that gun you're going to take a little bit of a hit on that. Now, if it were like a SIG P226 Stainless Elite or a Legion or X5 or something like that, which I have none of those, <laughs> but you can probably expect to get not necessarily all of your money back, but a good chunk of money um, based on what you pay for it. So I don't know. But again, some people sell or trade to get something else. Some do it because they have to, like I said, financially, maybe, um, you know, more power to you. But what are your thoughts? That's really what I want to know. Like, what do you what do you all think? Like, do you just basically go into the camp of I will never sell my gun? And if I run out of space in my safe, I'm going to buy a new safe. Or do you look at it like, OK, well, I shot it. I tried it. I liked it or I didn't like it. Or, you know what? I want something else and I can stand to lose uh, or part with with this one um and so i can get something better you know what do you guys do you know what are your thoughts there like if you do sell though if you do feel like you know you're, you're good and comfortable with selling and you've done the whole selling you know guns and things before um i've done it a couple of a few times but I, eh, I don't know um but if you do let me know in the comments like what are some tips or tricks to get a good deal and not lose a lot for what you paid um I know there's sites like Gun Broker, Arms List. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can do consignment through your FFL. Uh, what is that? Guns.com, I think they, and Bud's Gun Shop, too. They will buy your gun, too. Um, you can go through them and, you know, go through all of the paperwork and, and the legal stuff to, to, to sell your gun through them, too, if you didn't want to do a private party sale. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, there's options out there. But I'm just curious, like, you know, what do you all think about just the whole concept of, of selling your guns or trading your guns out um, in general? And if you do do that, you know, how do you go about doing it? What, what's your advice? Um, so let's keep the convo conversation going in the comments. Um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. And in the meantime, as always, stay safe, keep training, keep exercising your two-way rights. And that's about it. Mr. 945, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.